Okay, let us discuss the next problem. This is quite interesting problem. So, we everybody knows carbon deuterium bond that is CD bond. So, CD bond is stronger than CH bond. So, this is experimental fact. So, let us say, so this is given to you that is CD bond is stronger than CH bond. So, carbon deuterium bond, even carbon deuterium is stronger than carbon deuterium and this is even stronger than carbon hydrogen. So, the, the toughest bond uh, that is the highest bond energy is carbon tritinium, carbon deuterium and then you have carbon hydrogen. So, this is given to you. Now, what the problem says, so if I do, uh, let us say this one, if I do nitration of this, now this benzene ring contains hydrogen, hydrogen, hydrogen. If I do nitration of this, what I am getting is, I am adding NO2 here, everywhere you have hydrogen, I have not shown. So, I can do nitration of a benzene that contains hydrogen. Now again, I can do nitration of a benzene that contains deuterium. Both in both cases, I will get nitrogen NO2 group here attached. Now in this case, these positions are basically attached to the hydrogen. In this case, these positions are attached to deuterium. So, I can do nitration of a hydrogen substituted benzene. This is a hydrogen substituted benzene. I can do nitration to deuterium substituted benzene. Let us copy this one. Now, can anybody tell me what should be the question? What should be the question? Any idea? So, you see, my question should be something related to carbon hydrogen. In the first, I said carbon deuterium. So, this information, carbon deuterium, carbon hydrogen. You see, I am clearly showing this carbon hydrogen and carbon deuterium. This suggests question has to something to do with carbon hydrogen and carbon deuterium bond. Now see, the question says, the rate of these two reactions are measured. So, rate of this reaction and rate of this reaction has been measured. And it is found the rate of these two reactions are same. So, let us say rate of this reaction is R1 and rate of this reaction is R2. So, from experiment it is found that R1 is equal to R2. So, very good information. So, you say, so now we are asking, what can you say about the mechanism? So, if the rate is same, so this experimental observation is given to you, that rate is same, what should you say about the uh, mechanism? Now, I will tell you, I will give you some hint. Now, if you remember, electrophilic aromatic substitution has two steps. First step is tougher step, second step is a, a slightly easier step. First step is slower step, second step is faster step. Now you see, in the first step, electrophile attacks, second step, hydrogen goes. Now you see, if the rate is same, this means I can say, the second step cannot be the rate determining a step, because what is happening in the second step? So let us, let me show you the solution. If you see, so if you see, what are the two steps? And then you write, just listen fast and then you write. So you see, these are the, so this is the first step, nitration the electrophile attack. Now, this is the second step when you lose one H plus and then you have air. Now, what this Z denotes? Z denotes it can be either hydrogen or it can be either deuterium. So, if you see, if this step is the rate determining a step, so let us assume the second step is the rate determining the step. First step, let us assume the graph of this potential energy diagram is something like this. So, the actual potential energy diagram is something like this. But let us assume this is the correct one. So in that case, I can say the second step is the rate determining a step. But if the second step is the rate determining a step, in the second step, you see the carbon deuterium bond or carbon hydrogen because Z is hydrogen or deuterium. So carbon hydrogen or carbon deuterium bond is breaking in the second step. That is important part. So this means for if this is the graph for carbon hydrogen, so, for carbon deuterium, your graph will go something like this. Are you getting? So, carbon deuterium graph should go something like this. 
so this because carbon deuterium bond is stronger than carbon hydrogen so this graph will go something like this so this is a harder so in this case the rate will be greater so you see carbon hydrogen rate should be faster because this bond is weaker car activation energy is low carbon deuterium activation energy is high so this bond is not probable to break so this means carbon deuterium will have rate slower but now what we have from observation we have rate of this reaction does not depend upon carbon hydrogen or carbon deuterium bond this means this step is not a rate determining step this step has to be the rate determining step because in this step there is no carbon deuterium bond is broken so you see in this case only electrophile is attacking nucleophile is attacking so this will be something like this if you take at the carbon deuterium you will have carbon hydrogen is this if you take carbon deuterium second step will be this but the first step is your rate determining step second step is your first step so it does not matter it's something like traffic if you can cross the first lane the first barrier there is a four tra four traffic road if you cross the cross the let us say you have a initial road that is a only two traffic later road there is a four traffic if you cross the two traffic road true traffic lane four traffic lane you can always cross so the hurdle is the crossing the two traffic lane so you see the same thing so this step has to be rds this step so what this information says this information says a step 2 cannot be rate determining a step a step 2 has to be fast step if this is not the fast step if this is the slow step that is if the rate determining a step then carbon hydrogen bond will break easily carbon deuterium bond will break not easily so in that case rate will not be equal in that case rate will be one rate will be slow and another rate will be fast but that is not the case it is given that rate are same so this means both rates should be same this means the first step is the rate determining step now let us copy all this thing so you see loss of proton should be a rapid step it should not come in the rate determining step that is loss of d plus or loss of h plus should not be rate determining step okay so you copy this also so steps two should be the fast otherwise changing the type of bond that is the carbon deuterium or carbon hydrogen should change the rate that is not the case and then we will go for the next problem Okay, let us go for the next problem. I think some of you, all of you, copied or not? Not it. So slow. Copy fast. Okay, go for the next problem.